down when I'm pulling up. Come around when I'm pulling up. In my town and I'm pulling up. Ready for anything, anyone. Know that I get it done. In the bands, I be pulling up. Tell your friends, cause I'm pulling up. Hello there, and welcome to the Muscle Hustle Hustlenomics 202 tutorial video. I am your host, Davey D, and today we shall be taking a more in-depth look into the game and its mechanics. First and foremost, this is a friendly reminder to make sure you check out the Muscle Hustle Wikia. Here you can find the various social medias for the Hustleverse, as well as character information, various tips, strategies, and statistics. You can find all of this information in the video description. Let's carry on, shall we? As with any game, we have to get used to the concept of classes. The first class we shall take a perusal at is the Law and Disorder, symbolized by the Red Fist. Also symbolized by the Red Background. Law and Disorder represents criminals, law keepers, and former or current military style characters. They often favor abilities that bend the rules but not necessarily breaking them and demonstrate the disciplines found on both sides of the law. They are strong against the flamboyant showman type but weak to the stubborn and hedonistic hardheads. Showmans symbolized by the yellow fist and the yellow background. They represent the big, loud, bright and charismatic characters that work the crowds like nobody else. They favor abilities that emphasize athletic or acrobat prowess or aiding allies to hype them up for the crowd. They are strong against the ferocious wild types but weak to the no-nonsense tactics of law and disorder. Wild wrestlers symbolized by the green fist and background. Wild wrestlers represents the untamed power of nature and its beasts. They favor abilities that emphasize their strength and ferocity or that show a bestial connection. Their instinct-driven and sometimes unpredictable style gives them advantage over the sporting Olympians, but they are weak to the flair of the showman wrestlers. Olympians, symbolized by the blue fist and background. Olympians are the finest athletes and sports performers the hustle has to offer. They are all top tier competitors in their chosen sports as well as in wrestling. They represent the hard earned skill, athletic superiority and tight rules of sport. Their discipline styles overcomes hard heads but cannot effectively endure the feral tactics of wild wrestlers. Hard heads symbolized by the purple fist and background. Hardheads represents rebels, rockers, and rejects, almost uniformly clad in leather, chains, and spikes. These miscreants are masters at thumbing their nose at the man and embracing the brutality and insanity of the darker side of human nature. Their anti-authoritarian ways are custom built for taking down the wrestlers of law and disorder, but their reckless tactics leave them vulnerable to the precision athletic skill of the Olympians. These are all the rules of the muscle hustle. Law and disorder, showmans, wild wrestlers, Olympians and hardheads. And as always, you can find this wheel of advantage at the bottom of your roster. Law and Disorder trumps Showman, Showman trumps Wild, Wild trumps Olympian, Olympian trumps Hardhead, and Hardhead trumps Law and Disorder. Weight Classes Weight represents the body, size, and physical appearance of a wrestler. Light wrestlers. Light wrestlers usually have an average height and slim bodies. Standard wrestlers. Standard wrestlers have an average build.
heavy wrestlers. Heavy wrestlers usually have a large and terrifying physique. In terms of gameplay, the heavier the wrestler is, the more difficult it will be to move him. Movement Movement represents how wrestlers approach and attack their opponents and how fast they do so. Movement is directly affected by several other factors such as weight and speed. Heavyweight wrestlers, you see there, heavyweight wrestlers usually have low speed and attack others by colliding and dragging them across the ring. They belong to the heavyweight class. See there, she's a heavyweight. Bumper. Wrestlers that usually attack others by colliding against them, moving both the attacking and attack pucks, they belong to the middleweight class. Lightweight. Wrestlers that attack others by colliding against them, but not with sufficient strength to displace opponents, and will rather be pushed away from them, they belong to the lightweight class. Piercers. Wrestlers that attack others by passing through them as they gradually lose speed until coming to a full stop. Most of them belong to the middleweight class. Archetypes. They are three archetypes. Focus, crowd, and sustain. Focus. Wrestlers specializing in using powerful attacks and techniques against a single opponent. Crowd. Wrestlers specializing in dealing with several threats at once and using area of effect abilities. Sustain. Wrestlers specializing in resisting damage by healing themselves and or teammates. Talent type. You have your jobbers, which you can acquire from one to three stars, denoted by the J. You have your pros, which you can acquire from one to four stars, denoted by the P. You have your superstars, which can be recruited from one to five stars, denoted from the S. And finally, you have your legends, which you can acquire at six stars and denoted by the L. You may have noticed that some wrestlers have hollow stars. These hollow stars are indicative of how high you can take the wrestler. Here we see the same wrestler with his stars maxed out. When a wrestler is at one star, he is neutral, hence the neutral face. As he ascends another level at two stars, he gains one more ability. And then at three stars, he gets the option of choosing his affiliation of either being a face or a heel. Heel denoted by his impish growl, face by that of a smiling cherub. His heel ability, he gains more strength with every strike on an opponent. His face ability, he imparts contagious courage to his teammates. It should be noted that even though a wrestler chooses to be face or heel, it will not affect his overall stats. Rather, like I mentioned before, just his abilities. Here we see Coffin Neil as a heel. Here we see Coffin Neil on his path to being a full face. Coaches. Coaches are denoted by the whistle emblem and they are used to enhance and level your wrestlers. Each coach is assigned a specific amount of XP points. 
They range from one star all the way to five star. As you see, my max coach is a three star. To level a wrestler using a coach, simply click on the wrestler, go to stats, go to training, and you proceed to select a coach. As you can see, this coach gives 2,500 points, but because this coach is a wild, training a wild, it gets double the XP. You add as many coaches as you so wish, you click back and you see there's the price to enhance this wrestler. In order to promote a wrestler, you must acquire his gear from various tours. As you can see, I have his torn men's jeans already equipped. It says here, I have the men's biker's boots in my inventory, so I shall equip it. I currently don't have his men's skull t-shirt, so I click on get it now, and it shows me a variety of tours with where I can get it. You may have noticed, you tend to get multiples of the same wrestler. You may be saying to yourself, what do I do with all of these dupes? Well, let me introduce you to Ascension. Ascension basically buffs the wrestler's already maxed out stats by taking him to the next level by using his duplicates as fuel. I choose to ascend, there is a fee to ascend. As you can see, I get plus 1% attack, plus 5% health. You're in a match, you find yourself outnumbered, you find yourself in a tough jam, and there's simply no way you can beat your opponent. What do you do? You phone a friend. Your friend list is where you find all of your friend's wrestlers that they have set as heroes. There, you have your pick of the litter of who you can call for help. The hero then enters the ring and proceeds to reign mayhem, thereby allowing you to win the match or have a fighting chance. How do I add friends to my contact list? First, on the home screen, click on Special Event and Social. Then, click on Add Contact. Then, you simply input the contact number, and boom, they're added to your contact list. As you can see, these are friends that are online that you can choose to fight. These are all your friends that are offline. Here, you can view your request. I have none pending. You can earn rewards by simply sharing a download link to your social media. Every person that downloads the app via this link gives you a bit of respect that you can use to redeem for various rewards. But how do you choose your hero? First, you go to your roster. Select a wrestler you would like to make your hero. Click on the handshake. As you can see, she is now my hero and shall appear as such in my friend's contact list. I also have the option of selling a wrestler, which I shan't do. And I have the option of making this wrestler my favorite. As denoted in my roster, by the hearts. The gym tab is where you can find your wrestlers, the Wrestlepedia, giving you all the stats and info on various wrestlers, abilities, healing, assistive, countdown, attack, and all the wrestlers, with which whom those abilities belong, your inventory, your boost, your gear to help promote your wrestlers, your event tickets, your contracts, training, where you can choose the wrestler of your preference to level up, 
with the appropriate coaches. Please be mindful that if you should choose to use a wrestler to coach a wrestler, you would permanently lose him. Don't do that. To create a team of wrestlers, first go to your roster, click on edit teams, and as you will see, you have five slots to create custom teams based on their synergy. You may also select these teams before entering a match. You may notice that there's a bonus when each team member is of the same affiliation. Here we see all three members are heels, hence they get a damage buff. As opposed to here where we have one face and there's no damage buff. Also, we have the option of using boost. Boost are little items that help us going forward into our match. Here, we have Knuckle Duster which gives 50% attack, Bacterium which gives 100% health, Lucky Charm which gives a wrestler a 33% chance that medkits and chairs appear, Energy Drink which gives a 30% speed boost, and Bronze Guard which doubles a wrestler's earned XP. Simply choose the desired boost for your wrestler before entering a match. This has been a Davy D Muscle Hustle tutorial. Thank you for watching. Ready or not, I'll be pulling up. Remember, they said I'm not good enough. I took all the energy, turned it to greatness. Now look at my life, man, it's looking amazing. I'm ready for anything, anyone.